Hello and welcome to Not A Gamer Gaming. This is Genosis, and today we have a special episode for you. I don't want to say episode, but we're, we're doing something different. Uh, today I have Kane with me. Uh, he's the developer of Darkness Falls, and he's with us to help demystify farming. Hello. There we go. So uh, what I'll start off by doing is just kind of explain, maybe go over what I know about the farming. He can tell me if I'm wrong. And then we can uh, fill in the blanks and go to some of the more advanced topics, such as irrigation and uh, growing lights. Now, from what I understand, and again, I'll illustrate to people that when you go into your journal, there's a lot of information here. So don't ne neglect the journal. Look through it, read through it. There's a lot more information here maybe than you expect. Now, it does talk about farming. So it's tarpon farming. And this gives us some information, telling us that we need to have at least four blocks of uh, around, um, sorry, we can have, uh, grow something within four blocks of a water source. So what I started here is a nine by nine grid. So we have nine to the left, nine north and south and west, and then we can plant in each direction and everything seems to be growing. So that's all I've done in farming. Now in here, we have a rain catcher. I put it two, whole, two uh, blocks down because a water block spawns above. As far as I know, it will flood if you uh, put it any higher than that. And uh, yeah, I get food. So, uh, if Kane will be so uh, so kind, he can go over what's beyond that. Okay, well, personally, 9x9 nine is too big. Is it too big? Now, the reason for that is because every single time one of these plants does a grow check, it mm. eats the water. Oh. So, what I do is I do a 5x5, five five, and I'll see if I can very quickly uh, plot one out over here. All right, sure. Okay, so you've got this. Now, normally what I would do is I dig out the ground, but we'll save a bit of time. We'll just make it taller. Sure. Okay, so normally, say this third level is one is on the ground. So I put that block there. Mm -hmm. uh, that one that's below this level, that would be ground level. And I dig out that, and I dig out the level underneath it. Okay. And I do it like that. So you have your rain catcher in the middle and two completely empty five by five um, layers, for lack of a better term. Then right. the top here, I would fill with dirt because that's normally what you start with and you just hoe it or it'll work with farm plot blocks. Except for the middle where the rain catcher is. I put oh. bars over that so I don't fall in and drown. Cool. And then what this does is it fills up the entire area so that every single plant is within five, four blocks of a water block. Um, so uh, they basically, they all have their own water block. And that I find tends to make the update tick fire more consistently. So they'll tend to grow at the same rate. Okay, so the water just kind of spreads from there and then all the blocks have access to the water. That's it, exactly. Oh, that's interesting. It, it makes sense too. And then normally what I'll do is I'll go say, like three blocks out like this and mm -hmm. then i'll repeat the process and i'll do a five by five every three blocks because then if you take into account the blocks on the edge that means the next plot is four blocks away from the other so the other plants can't eat the other water source ah that's interesting but that's how i do it okay cool i mean that really also seeing this process and how limited it is it really makes a lot of sense going into irrigation yep Wow. Okay, I'm going to have to get to that sooner than later. Okay, what's next? Right, so irrigation is fairly easy, although people apparently do struggle with it. So you've got your water source here, and basically you need a pump next to it. There we go. There we are. So you have that next to the water. Excellent. Okay. Um, you can put it on any side, doesn't matter. The one thing to make sure is do not have plants anywhere near the water. Okay, so uh, like plants as in growing plants or just general foliage? Yeah, your, your farm basically. Okay. Now the reason for that is plants are coded to check for water, water as in a water source. Mm -hmm. They will also check for rain and they'll check for irrigation whichever and the war it's they are coded to check for water before irrigation so even if you have your irrigation all set up 
they'll see a water block and eat it. And then the pump goes, I've got no water. Ah. Excellent. So it can only, it's, uh, is this the absolute range that can it go any further from water or just has to be one over and one down? It basically has to be next to a block of water. So literally like that. Okay. Now, if you put it in water, would that affect it? I actually have not tested that. I see no reason why it wouldn't work. I mean, so long as it's adjacent to a water block, regardless of whether it's submerged or not. Okay, so I'm asking all the questions that folks might answer or ask. And then you need to attach, in quotation marks, your pipes to it. So you do something like this. Okay, and these are just crafted with forged iron from what it looks like on a metal workstation. Yep. Now, as I see, you put a junction here. Now, do you have to cap off, like, realistically, or does it doesn't matter? You don't have to, but I put the cap in for people who want the aesthetics. And the ah. cap does count as part of the irrigation system, so plants will still see that cap and go, that's an irrigation block. Oh, okay. Also, the pump is uh, self-powered. Like, it's logistically, realistically would be powered, but it doesn't need to be, right? Yeah, pretty much. I decided I didn't want to faff with trying to hook it into the electric system because that's just uh -huh. a headache. Sure. So you do something like that. Um, if my memory is correct, plants either check one or two blocks for irrigation. So with one pipe, you could have, you know, three a pl row of plants on top of it and a row either side of it. Okay, so just is adjacent to it. Like it has to be directly next to it. Yeah. But it does check on the diagonal, so that's not a problem. So okay. um, I'm just trying to think how to explain it. But like, if these were one block up, so say there was another pipe here, and then the, they were on top of it, that would be fine. Okay. So you could uh, have a piping system underneath a farm, and that would be more efficient. Yep, you absolutely can. Excellent. Okay, now, so what you do in this circumstance, I mean probably not the most efficient, but you just have two spaces and then another one and then have just one in between or two in between, like, um, see, like two plants like this and then your irrigation comes this way. Um, I would probably do it like that. With only myself. the one block. With only the one but, block. Yeah, per that's how I would personally do it, but you could do a two and then the pipes here. That should work, but I do it like that just because I'm paranoid. Oh, okay. Now, uh, as we see, there's no uh, junction block here. Does that still work even though it doesn't look connected? Yeah, it'll still work because it's a uh, an irrigation pipe next to an irrigation pipe. The um, I've, I put the junctions in just for people who want to make it look pretty. Okay, so there's two aesthetic blocks. <laughs> yeah, that, I, I can imagine that would bother people, so that was good to put that in. That's cool. It, it bothered me when all I had was a pipe and I was testing it. And I was like, this is annoying. Mm, no, I can definitely understand that. <laughs> understand that. Uh, if you really want to be annoying, you can, you can all have them like this way and put them lengthwise. Yeah, like that. <laughs> that, would, yeah, that would be triggering. It looks awful, but it works. Oh, now you just hate people. There you go. <laughs> it, like I said, it looks awful, but it works. Okay, so that's uh, that's irrigation right on. Now, um, I think the next part of this whole thing is going indoors with uh, heat lamps. Is that the next step? Uh, yeah, those only work for the special seeds that the master farmer gets. They will not work on normal crops. So oh. these here, they won't help. Okay, so in order to grow normal crops, it has to be outside regardless. Yes. Okay, and the special crops is super corn or something else? Yeah, it's the underground ones that are made with super corn. Okay. Okay, so there's a whole breed of seed. Like, you can still grow potatoes underground, but it has to be a super potato? Yeah, pretty much. Oh, okay. I didn't realize. Oh, that guy just died for some reason. A poor mascot. Rip him. Excellent. Okay, so seeds. Uh, let me take a look for... Uh, oh, yeah, there it is. Um, seeds are kind of off-color. Potatoes. That's right. Uh, yeah, so we got some purple potato seeds here. Okay, so we're just framing out uh, framing out the farm plots? Yep. Okay. I'll watch you work. Aha! Uh -huh. Invisible blocks. Oh, oh, we have the uh, garage door open. Oh, let me take care of that quickly. Well, it, I mean, it doesn't really matter. We can just leave that for now. But just imagine there's a pipe there. 
Now, let's take it out. <laughs> okay, that looks good. Now we can replace that missing spot there. Good, excellent. Now, I assume it's the same rules for uh, farm plots. You can only have it adjacent to the pipes. Yep, pretty much. So you can have a, a, a large farm plot all spread out as long as you have enough pipes doing it. So you don't have to do the 5x5 five five rule over here. Nope, as long as you're willing to run the pipes, it will work. Excellent. I like it already. I suppose the next trick also would be the rules about the uh, heating lamps. Right. So if my memory is correct, I will have to check the code. Mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure the lamps have to be within four blocks of the plants. Okay, that's not that's pretty lax. Does it matter what direction they're facing or that's just aesthetics? Doesn't matter, that's just aesthetics and obviously the plants don't consume the block or anything like that. So you could literally put aggro lamp in the middle and then have you know plants within four all the way around it. You obviously would need all, all the extra irrigation for that, but you could do that. Okay. And what about having the lamps uh, above it? Like, could you have them hanging from the ceiling or something? Um, far as I, as far as I know, it, they could be from the ceiling or even the wall, as long as it's within four. Okay, four blocks, uh, like ab above, not just uh, horizontally. Yep, yeah, all directions above, even below, if you really want to be strange. <laughs> and uh, we know people like to be strange. Wow. Okay, so this is actually really cool. I'm gonna have to get into this on my uh, my playthrough. This seems interesting. Now, important, the underground plants require the farm plot blocks. You can't just put down dirt and hoe it. Right, I figured that would be the only reason to have farm plot blocks, uh, because it's so much easier just to use uh, take the hoe and till some soil. Yep, and they grow in half the time of the other plants. Oh, so it's twice as... Oh, nice. That's Well, it's good to know. I'm definitely going to have to get into this. This is uh, this is really cool. Does that cover, does that cover pretty much everything? That's uh, beginning to end the farmer class? Yeah, I think so. You, I mean, I've got the little thing set up over there that I did as a test mm -hmm. uh, to show how I set it up. Ooh, um, so take a look at this. Yeah, so, we've got water. Excellent. That's actually a handy way to do that if you want to set up a, just an infinite water source and scoop up some jars. Yeah, but it also shows how the water spreads in the dugout area, which is so now you can see why I do that. Yeah, so yeah, it would definitely uh, water the plants a lot more. Yeah, my farm, looking at it, is extremely inefficient. It's no wonder I'm getting plants very infrequently. Yeah, because you've got two or three blocks of water there, and basically one will consume it, and then one will consume the other, and then the others are going, well, where's mine? Right. So, I mean, that's why people would do trenches. I mean, I did one block because I'm thinking, I played Minecraft, I know how this works. Uh, but no, people, people, people do trenches, and that would be a lot more efficient to consuming water. Yep, I've seen people do trenches. That does work if the water physics decide to actually work and flow. Right. Well, that was very cool. All right, uh, so I've seen that covers everything. I want to th thank you, Kane, for coming by and uh, explaining all this. This has been extremely enlightening. One last point, because sure. I see mushrooms on the wall. Oh, <laughs> yeah. They, okay. they need water. Yes, uh, okay, funny story. Um, that's how I'm used to doing it. Uh, on my more recent recording, I did move them onto the farmlands, thinking, hey, those aren't, those aren't growing. Something probably has changed. So that's also good to know, good to clear up, uh, to include on this video. Now, uh, I do want to say one more thing before we uh, we end. Uh, Kane, you do have a YouTube channel. You play Seven Days to Die, you play other games. Um, so what I'll do is I'll link your uh, channel here in a card. People can click on the upper right-hand corner and in the description of the video so you can check out his work as well. Brilliant, thank you very much. And thank you for coming by. Not a problem. That's been Farming with Genosis and Kane. I want to thank you all for watching. If you like what you saw here today, click the like button. If you'd like to see some more in the future, hit subscribe if you haven't already. All right, thanks to all for watching and see you next time.